So, what are we doing, Scott? Uh, we are slowly setting up a woodland cookery restaurant. Okay, and uh, why here? Why here? Because of the stunning views, which you've probably seen. Um, we've got plenty of natural resources. Um, we've got things coming off the estate. And it's just linking everything together with nature and cooking. Okay, and um, what are you doing now? You're putting up a We've got a mock chandelier. Oh, it's a mock chandelier. Oh, yes. Mock chandelier. By the time it's all finished, it'll be under canopy. Um, you'll have all the lighting and everything else, and that'll be coming off the centre. Again, yeah. reclaimed wood from the estate and from the woods. And are we going to get wet if we come uh, natural dining? No, we'll have this covered. Um, we've got a natural canopy coming over. Uh, we've also got some different tarping systems going in, so you'll be nicely covered. You'll be dry. And you just need to bring a nice warm coat just in case there's a bit of a wind. So talk me through what we're doing, where everything's going to go. So the kitchen area is behind you, as you can see the boarding there. So that's the service area. The food will be happening behind that with some large oil drums, uh, barbecue style and smoking. And then we'll have seating areas over here. Behind you, in little little alcoves of seating. Uh-huh. So booths. Little booths. Yep. Uh, all the way to the fence line where you can see those posts sitting out. They'll be wicker fenced, a little bit like we've got here. Uh -huh. be a little bit of shelter from any trees. And then across there, this area here, you'll be able to see the lovely views across Ashcombe Estate. Brilliant. And what about the fallen tree? The fallen tree is going to be our bar. So you'll be able to lean across there, enjoy the views and the sunsets. Um, whilst leaning on there, we're going to take some notches into it. So you'll be able to rest your drink on there as well. Excellent. So, uh, you know, there's be, there'll be uh, a place for a shot glass on the, on the tree there. Definitely a place for a shot glass or two on the tree. And I see that you've already set up your fine outdoor dining. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be the table. It's a little bit rougher than perhaps <laughs> you had anticipated. It, it, will, it will be tabled. Um, the tables are going to be using some of the fallen trees and the fallen woodland in here. Um, we're upcycling different parts of the estate back into here for seating and other arrangements. There'll also be a fire pit roughly about where I'm stood and the chandelier will be moving across a little bit more. Okay so fire pit there and how many people will be able to sit around that? Um, it'll be in the area and there's going to be other fire pits dotted around nearer the tables. Uh -huh. This will be the sort of the centre focus point. So you'll, you'll still stay warm and you'll stay dry? You'll still stay warm and you'll still stay dry. And when are we going to open this? Hopefully in the next few weeks. <laughs> yes that's right three to four, right. Weeks, time, three to four weeks okay and uh, what will run till the autumn maybe? Run till the autumn and yeah. if people are still interested we'll and run it through the winter as well. Keep going, keep yeah. going, yeah, absolutely. Keep lots of different styles of food happening as the seasons change because obviously, with where we are now in this location, we'll be able to really utilize the, the seasonality of the ingredients. And um, I think you'll get a much better taste when we are using the seasonality. And how many people do we think are going to be able to fit here? Um, 30 to 40, mm -hmm. depending on family group sizes. Um, obviously, we've got to keep the social distancing. So, if we've got larger families, they can come and sit all sit together and we'll give people the space and of course it's open air lots of fresh air blowing through here and coming in so. well i don't think we could have found a better spot